Sergeant, up ahead. Excuse me, sir, I'm Captain Miller. You're blocking a military convoy. Oh, I am, am I? Well, you see, I'm a magician, and I'm here to entertain your troops. What? Watch. Over here, Captain. Just what's going on? Man your battle stations. The semi with the plutonium. It's gone. What? That's impossible. It disappeared. Are you sure it was venom? Captain Miller gave me complete descriptions of the uniforms and masks. It's been confirmed. Huh. Said they were magicians, did they? That's amusing. The only tricks they know are dirty ones. And this time they made an extremely valuable truck disappear. I'll guarantee you, it wasn't magic. We need your help, Matt. You can count on it, Dwayne. Scan the personnel files for the mask agents best suited for this mission. Personnel selected, Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist, vehicle code name, Rhino. Hondo McLean, weapon specialist, tactical strategist, vehicle code name, Firecracker. Brad Turner. Motorcycle and helicopter pilot, vehicle code name, Condor. Alex Sector, computer and communications expert, Rhino Systems Commander. Buddy Hawks, Master of Disguises, Intelligence Expert, Firecracker Co-Pilot. Dusty Hayes, Auto and Marine Stunt Driver, Vehicle Code Name, Gator. Gloria Baker, champion race car driver, black belt in Kung Fu. Dad! Dad, are you going on a mission? I'm afraid so, Scott. All right, when do we leave? Shortly, but you're only going halfway. I'm dropping you off at Clear Lake with Mr. Spencer. You know the three pounders are and where the pound and a half rubber boots are too tell you what if i catch my limit on the first day will you come and get me nice try scott no deals now get back All set. Did you see those army guys? The trap doors and smoke bombs worked like a charm. Yeah. Wonder what the captain said when he found out his shipment was missing. Well, 
If he knew what we were going to do with the plutonium, I don't think he'd be too happy. That's the only information we have for now. We have to handle this with kid gloves. You mean special gloves? But plutonium is highly radioactive. And in the hands of Venom, the danger's even worse. We have to get it back. Benson, remember T-Bob? How could he forget me? I caught more fish than both of you last time. That's because you fell in. And with those fish all over you, you look like a can of sardines. <laughs> <laughs> nice seeing you, Mr. Spenson. I'll call you soon to see how you're doing, son. Be careful, Dad. This is where the army semi disappeared. Let's see if we can find anything. Peaceful as a summer cloud. Peaceful maybe, Brad, but eight tons of truck doesn't disappear into thin air. An illusion is little more than a theft from the eye. What in thunder is he talking about? He's saying, buddy, the hand is quicker than the eye. Okay, spread out, scour the area. Look for clues. Earthquake! Patch into satellite sensors. According to the satellite readings, it's Central City, 7.2. The epicenter under the Geological Research Center. Hmm, that's odd. It's no coincidence. Venom's inside. What are they doing in there? Nothing worthwhile. Come on. like a good earthquake to scare people away. Good job. Let's get going. This is it, Venom. Help! Somebody help! Viper! Fire! How convenient. Let's get out of here. Bruce, Brad, Alex, Gloria, help that woman. We'll take care of Bennett. It's a 
stiletto fire. Penetrator on. <laughs> Torch on. Backlash fire. <laughs> Right, Dusty? Well, sort of. Venom got away. Don't worry. At least we got what they were after. Did you figure out what it was? It's a computer component used to divert earthquakes from populated areas to the desert or ocean floors. Then obviously Venom has the means to create earthquakes. That's obviously what the plutonium was for, some type of earthquake device. But why do they need such a thing? Mr. Svensson? T-Bob still catches all the fish. And he doesn't even have a license. Maybe we ought to report him. No one would believe you because I'd turn into a... Okay, you win, T-Bob. If you two are going swimming, you better hurry. Lunch is on shortly. Come on, T-Bob, I'll race you. Yes, that is strange, Scott. Well, try to make the best of it till I pick you up. All right, Dad. Bye. All of a sudden, Clear Lake is half empty. There's got to be a connection between that and its closeness to Central City. Allow me, Matt. If you pump enough water into an earthquake fault, you can create enough pressure to make the fault give way. If I were to make an educated guess, Venom stole the plutonium for the earthquake device nuclear water pump. Which means they can cause earthquakes, right? Yeah, that's why they're trying to get that computer box. If Venom got a hold of it, they'd be able to direct earthquakes to large cities to bring attention to themselves as a world power. If they want it so desperately, why don't we let them have it? Are you sure the Army's transporting another computer box? I intercepted satellite information. I'm positive. Right on schedule. Huh? 
What's the problem? We seem to have run out of fuel. Perhaps you could spare some. Bring a couple of tanks of propane. Thank you for your time, Major. Sorry for distracting you. Take care. Same to you. plutonium from leaking. We can't let the radioactivity escape. Lift up! On! Over here, Bruce! Good work, everyone. We almost got them. Well, I think it's safe to say Venom won't trust satellite information again. It's so hot! I can't stand it anymore! I'm gonna take a dive! Wait! Stop it, T-Bob! You know how deep the water is there? You'll get seriously hurt if you dive into shallow water. Well, looks like it's okay. About nine feet. Great for diving. And let's dive! <laughs> <laughs> 